Madam Speaker, I rise today to honor our brave men and women in blue. Our nation is blessed with heroic law enforcement officers who pursue a thankless career dedicated to maintaining law and order, keeping our community safe, and answering the call when criminals strike. Law enforcement officers are heroes in our communities. They are the heroes that are desperately needed, but they don't often receive the recognition that they deserve. This week, National Police Week, we honor our local, state, and federal law enforcement officers. As far as I'm concerned, every week should be National Police Week. These men and women always deserve gratitude for their service and sacrifice. Yet law enforcement officers nationwide are facing increasingly challenging conditions, forcing many to leave the force and causing others to avoid it altogether, leaving police departments across this country struggling to keep staff and to fill vacant positions. The horrendous conditions that are generating the low morale are skyrocketing crime rates, rising attacks on law enforcement, and growing calls from the left to advance soft on crime agendas. In fact, last year alone, a record-breaking 73 police officers were tragically killed in the line of duty. As of this month, 123 have already been shot in 2022, including nine murdered by criminals. Unfortunately, my home district, Georgia's 9th, knows this horrific reality all too well. Back in November of last year, my home county, Jackson County, lost both a mother and a heroic law enforcement officer Deputy Lena Marshall. After responding to a domestic call that escalated to a violent shootout, Deputy Marshall's life was taken while serving to keep Georgians safe. Make no mistake, this attack and any attack of criminal violence toward law enforcement is an assault on justice. Despite the radical left's persistent efforts to disarm, demonize, and defund the police, policies that weaken law enforcement simply empower criminals worsening the ongoing crime crisis. In contrast, I remain dedicated to providing our law enforcement officers with the community support, the resources, and the political backing needed to address surging crime across the country. Undermining the authority of the heroes that protect and serve is despicable, which is why we continue the fight to ensure that all law enforcement officers are fully equipped in their mission to keep our communities safe. May God bless all the men and women in blue who willingly put their lives on the line for ours. And may we honor all of the fallen officers who made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. And may God bless all of the loved ones of current fallen and future law enforcement officers who provide tremendous support both now, both on and off duty. We thank you we, and we honor you for your selfless service. Thank you and I yield back.